Welcome to hilly, chilly San Francisco. We're in the sunny side district of the city, but you'd never know it. The fog's in and it's freezing. But we're here to see a very remarkable garden. There's certainly nothing like it on this street and probably nothing like it on this planet. It's an incredible mix of bold foliage plants for the most part, like this New Zealand flax or the palm tree. Look at all these flaxes. Who would think of combining so many in a front yard at that? And just to keep you guessing, a rhododendron. Who can figure it? With a juniper and some very pretty cascading shrub. I don't know what that is. Now, the gardener we're here to see is an architect by profession, but he told me his passion is gardening. So let's go meet him. Sonny. Hi, Bob. Hi, <laughs> hey, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm ready for our tour. Yes, come on in. Oh, this is great. And I love this. I think this may be my favorite place in the whole garden. <laughs> this is a collection of Carex, and I particularly use this variegated form to uh, brighten up this space. And I also incorporated uh, these uh, oriental potteries to uh, give it some kind of an exotic look to the garden. It's great. Now, are the carexes in pots, too? They are in pots, and uh, every now and then uh, they are rearranged. It's great. I love it. Ooh, this is handsome. Is this the old smoke tree? Yes, it is. Uh, and it's the variety called uh, Royal Purple, and uh, I, I just love the uh, uh, color of the foliage. Oh, yeah. It's usually a huge mounding bush. You've got to train right up against the wall. That's right. You've learned a few tricks to work in small spaces, huh? I have, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, this is neat. What's this? Uh, that's a thing. very unusual uh, grass-like uh, plant that comes from South uh, Africa, and it's called Elegia capensis. Mm. I think it's a very elegant uh, plant. Very pretty. Ooh, look at this striking collection of... Uh, Asterisk-shaped plants. <laughs> <laughs> they are agaves uh, in different forms, and uh, I like them because uh, it gives some uh, sculptural form to the garden. Right. Plants just keep dragging you further and further into the garden. Oh, here. yes. This uh -huh. is a handsome thing, too. Yeah, this is a very neat plant. I really like this. Uh, it's a Carex, Carex sparkler that uh, I mail-ordered. That's great. Well, here we are kind of in the center of the garden, right? Yes. Now, this is, this is only, what, 30 feet wide? It's 30 feet wide by 60 feet deep. Uh, incredible. <laughs> you packed all of this into something that's the size of some people's yachts. That's right. <laughs> I mean, you've got, you've got trees and a deck up here, a, a gazebo over here. Uh -huh. You've built a lath house onto the house, and uh, there's an American flag. And an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's incredible. Oh, and look, there's an apple espalier on the... That's great. Yes. How long uh, did it take to get that going? The, this apple tree has been planted in there for about three years, and uh, it's oh. a variety called the uh, Macintosh. Mm. And um, it's got lots of fruits right now, but it's being stolen one by one by raccoons. <laughs> in the city, <laughs> huh? Uh, that's right. Oh, yes, we got a lot of them. That's amazing. This is great, too. Now, this is a mound that you've... you've uh, piled up here? That's right. And uh, this soil was started from um, the soil that I dug out to create the pond inside the lath house. And this is actually the first uh, part of the garden that uh, uh, I started up. And um, um, it has uh, come along pretty well. You're uh, not scared of mixing plants, are you? you just no, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't uh, follow what the book says or what the uh, authority says, and I just mix them the way uh, I, 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 I like them. I, I think I can say you've got an eye, son. You've got <laughs> a definite you. eye here. Thank you. That is really nice. Now, is there? it looks like there's one of everything in this garden. Is there anything you collect? I um, collect various things. Uh, abutilons, for instance. Uh, that that's another one over there. Uh, I particularly like that one because it has uh, uh, two colors uh, on the flowers. It uh, has kind of uh, peachy orange uh, petals and kind of uh, red uh, calyx. Butylons like San Francisco, don't they? They Too do. They like the kind of cool weather and uh, they sure thrive mm. in partial shade. Uh, they're very interesting. They come in different forms, uh, tree forms, uh, bushy forms. bright orange one? That's bright. Yeah, this one uh, is a particular nice one. It's called tangerine, and you can actually see the very nice veining in the mm -hmm. petals. 
Um, and uh, this is another form over here, which is variegated. It's called uh, uh, Abitalon uh, Souvenir de Bon. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have any flowers right now. Yeah, well, you can see why they call it flowering maple, though. It's got a that's very maple right. leaf. That's right. That's right, it is. What's around the corner over here? Oh, oh there's a... Uh, ah. Well, this is like a little jewel <laughs> box of plants. This is yes, great. it is. And again, it's a collection of uh, different form of variegated plants. Um, again, uh, people say don't combine a lot of uh, variegated plants together, but I did it anyway, and yeah, I think it works. Them, right? Yes, <laughs> it works in this particularly uh, dark spot. Oh, it does. It just brightens the whole thing up. And uh, well, that's a mirror. I thought <laughs> it was a door into another <laughs> garden room. Yes, it is a mirror, and uh, you know it's uh, put in there to reflect some light and uh, give some depth to the garden. That's great. I like your fountain too. How does that work? It uh, works uh, with a recirculating pump that is um, uh, buried uh, inside the gravel. That is uh, about uh, somewhere uh, underneath all that is gravel. Yes, it's uh -huh. 18 inches deep of a uh, hole that I dug in the ground and covered it with gravel and uh, filled it with water. And the recirculating pump it sunk in the back, hmm. and it it draws the water into the uh, uh, jar, and then it comes That's back. Great. Mm -hmm. Plants keep pulling me further into the garden <laughs> here. This is really nice. That's all the these bilia. cascading uh -huh. things. Jasmine blooming already? Yeah, with this really small nice. space, I have to resort to vertical gardening yeah. also. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me go up the stairs and up to the deck. Okay. Oh, Sunny, look at this. You've covered every horizontal surface of plants. They're all over the deck. They're on their railings. They're on the tabletop. <laughs> It's madness, yes. You're, you're crazier than I am. <laughs> we got to get you some help. <laughs> Look at this. You've even plastered the tree with plants. Uh-huh. Those are that's called bromeliads, and uh, in nature, they actually uh, grow on trees, and that's what I'm trying to do, make it look as natural as possible. Well, I love bromeliads. Oh, if you love bromeliads, I got a lot more to show you. Let's go to the grotto. The grotto? Uh -huh. That sounds mysterious. Okay. <laughs> well, Sunny... What do your neighbors think of all this? Well, actually, I think they like it because uh, they bring their visitors to come and see our garden. Well, I know I'd like it. I'd be over here every day if I were a neighbor pinching cuttings. <laughs> Anytime, Bob. <laughs> How old is the garden? How long have you been the working on it? The garden is only about five years old. No, I'm kidding. And uh, I garden probably about uh, two hours every day and maybe about six hours on weekends. Well, you've been very busy. Yes, I have. <laughs> Ooh, this must be the grotto. It feels <laughs> right. We're almost underground here. Oh, yeah. It's gotten about 10 degrees cooler, <laughs> as damp as can be. Uh, this is great. What a great place for bromeliads in particular. Yeah, it's our little oasis here. Yeah, they look real happy. Are they growing on old tree trunks in here? Ooh, what's that gorgeous vine hanging over that bromeliad? That's a very nice vine that comes from Mexico that's called the uh, Rhodochiton atrasanguinium. Oh, that is beautiful. It's, it's actually hardy. It survived the frost uh, last uh, winter. Well, you know, I'm, I'm surprised that more of this didn't perish in the frost. I mean, I always think of robiliads as being much more tender. Are they hard to grow here in the city? Actually, they love the uh, cool weather in San Francisco. As long as we don't have a uh, hard frost, uh, they'll do okay. Well, it really looks nice. I'm really impressed with your garden here. But you look really cramped. <laughs> Wouldn't you like a bigger garden somewhere? Oh, I'd love to, Bob. If I can afford one, I'd love to have a bigger place than this. <laughs> uh, I used to have a uh, small condominium, and uh, I was the only one interested in gardening in the whole building. And I used to garden in containers. So uh, when we bought this house, uh, I uh, took them uh, with me. Uh, they were mad, but uh, they were mine, so I took them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I wish you the best of luck, and I hope you find a bigger house someday. Oh, I hope I will, Bob. Thank you.